If you have ever been late trying to catch a flight, you will know that everything that can go wrong will go wrong. There will be a traffic jam leading up to the airport. When you get there, the check-in counter will have three tourist groups waiting in front of you. And when you do manage to check in, the person will tell you that the boarding gate is half an hour away by foot. These are all factors out of your control, but perhaps you can lessen the impact of that last problem about a far away boarding gate with one of these. This is the micro scooter case. It's not much larger than your standard cabin sized luggage, but comes with a kick scooter stowed on the back. Let's take a closer look. The bag is a Samsonite, which is hard at the back and soft in front. When empty, it weighs 5 kg, slightly heavier than normal cabin carry bags that are about 3 to 4 kilos. The extra weight, of course, is because of the scooter components. The board that drops down here can hold up to 100 kilos. It has a back wheel with brake and a pair of large front wheels. The handle for pulling the bag doubles as the scooter handlebar. When extended, it can be locked so you don't accidentally retract it when riding. The most common kick scooters have two wheels and usually the one in front rotates freely for turning. Because of the luggage compartment in the micro scooter case, it works a little differently here. In this case, you need to tilt your body and make gentle turns. To test this out, we'll have Leonard to help us. He'll pull a regular piece of luggage and we'll have a race from here to there and back. We'll see who's faster and by how much. Travelling a distance of 300 metres, Leonard clocked 2 minutes and 20 seconds at a brisk walk and jogging pace. I, on the other hand, took 1 minute and 53 seconds. Now, if you take into account that some airports require you to walk as much as 20 minutes when in transit, you could potentially save up to 4 minutes. Of course, it's common sense not to ride a scooter when there are lots of people around. So you shouldn't go charging around in crowded transit areas with this. But if you're in an airport like the LAX in the US, where you have to walk long distances between terminals to catch a connecting flight, the scooter case could make the difference between getting to your gate on time or staying grounded. You do have to be thick skinned though, there will be a lot of people looking at you. Take note that you do need a bit of practice if you want to be fast and stable using the micro scooter case. The unit we have here is a prototype, so the final product may look a bit different. So for now, thanks for watching.